Hello again. Oh, I don't know what it's going to be like today. It's cloudy. It's not too cold. It's not too bad. I'm just stood down here for a change. I just noticed on the wall that um, there used to be a door there. If you can see that. Sort of, I line him up and just sort of make it out in the brickwork. And then you see at the top there, where the top of it was. And um, the funny thing is, I've never noticed that before in my life. Never noticed that before in my life. Interesting, interesting. So my plans today are just for a short loop, really. Not going too mad. Got my son, grandchildren, etc. coming up later on. Lovely. So I got the house ready for them before I went off. I'm a bit later out than normal. Just gonna pop the poly steps and come back across the den, I think. And then cut back up through Orchard Gardens, back up to Liddles over there, and grab some milk and jobs are good. Un. Oh, yes, still standing. Little bit of the bells, should be able to hear them because I've got the wind blocker on today. Nearly 11 o'clock, like I say, a little bit later there than normal. Train there, wood wood. Ah. Interesting to note, as I walk down here today, quite a smell of animal feed that I can pick up. And uh, I don't have a very good sense of smell. Uh, so if, it's, if I can smell it, it's definitely a smell, you know. Sometimes we get the weeds out up here, along the side of the fence. And here we go, poly steps. Lovely. Well, that big ship is still here. Interesting, so normally they don't sort of stay for very long, but this one's still here like two weeks in now, I think. It's great. And there's the girl Rona. Wasn't there the other day when I had my drone. Never mind though. Always another day in there, always another day. Good old Ness. Little bit of the salty showing, but not as much as there is some days. So we've got a normal sort of low tide, if you know what I mean. The normal, what we would call just a basic low tide. As opposed to the extreme low tide I was uh, mentioning in the videos a few days ago. And stroke, 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 wee, yay rowers. God, so quiet down here today. No one messing about with boats. No one parked here. Just the people that sort of like, I think live here all the time in the vans. Very strange. There's Andy and Chunker in the distance. Lovely. Yeah, it's Chunker. That's you. <laughs> Likes his catch. Whee! Yay, Chunker. Well, here we go. Heading back now. Nice to bump into them again. Couldn't stay long because obviously got the son and family due up. But all good. Nice to see them anyway. That's one way to protect your car overnight. Scary mask on the passenger side door along with a hat. Well, it's not going to fool anyone close up, but anyone's mooching about and looking around and think, well, someone's sat there. Not a bad idea. Makes perfect sense. That there is the old key inn that was demolished on the docks and that is where the uh, port offices are now 
You see a bit of Alexander, or the places behind Alexander Terrace up there in the background. That's on the wall of signs. We still have three of them missing, including the the ones with the spelling mistakes. Quick glimpse at the old fish key, beach, and of course, Alan's boat, safe and sound. All good, mate. And not a great deal changed here when I was last here the other day. Everything's the same place, everything's docked in the same place. Seems to be the same boats here. There's a seabird. I watched that being restored one year. Lovely. Not going to go all the way around the back beach today. I'm gonna head up through here towards the den and the pier. Oyster catches. This building here, the grey one, used to be Timmouth Nightclub. Can't remember all the different names of it, but uh, yeah, you know, lots of different names, you know, run by lots of different people over a long, long period of time. Got scaffolding back up on that house again now. They took it all down the other day, so hope it's not a problem. That building there ahead of me used to be the Zervonia Guest House. It's still called the Zervonia Guest House, but it's all like Airbnbs now and separate apartments. Whereas you used to go in on the corner there. And it was like a traditional B&B with just a, a normal house with normal uh, normal rooms that were let out. There's that display, getting ready for summer. That's the parking for the Riviera Apartments. One, two, three, four. So they're pretty much, pretty much full. A lot of business in the Riviera at the moment. Another similar story there, Portland House. Used to be Portland Hotel. Now it's flats, but back in the day, Portland Hotel. Very well known part of Timmouth, right next to what was the Royal Hotel. Back when we had hotels. Some surfers out today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lovely. We got a few people in paddling today, both adults and children really the day in my opinion but <laughs> why not if that's your bag off you go oh there we go just gonna take a walk back a long way through the triangle and head up through orchard gardens to grab some milk and jobs are good Here we go. A few people around. Not going to say it's completely quiet. I'm at the bakehouse at the moment and that's appeared in the window. I thought I was going to say closing down or something, but no, they're not. They're applying for licenses to um, put the tables outside and to serve alcohol, which is fair enough. It means they're not disappeared, they're just closed for the season. Looks like um, the pet shop's been cleared. Yeah, I didn't film directly into it, but uh, not so much a case of looks like it's been cleared, as much as it's been gutted. Absolutely everything seems to be out of it, including the stuff off the walls and that, just bare walls inside stone. So complete gutting of the pet shop. Right, first then now the day, looking up here towards Orchard Gardens, there's a flood. I'll try and put the date on the photo if I can work it out later on.
There we go. That was there. It'd be nice to have a closer look, wouldn't it, really? Can't really do that with photos unless you zoom in. Or, unless you get another photo taken at the same time from slightly further up. So, using my powers of guesswork, I'm going to say round about here and throw up the second photo for you. Here you go. Yeah, it's not a million miles from where I was. Right, just pop along to co-op, get some milk, no point in doing littles. A bit far out of my way. Not so much for just a couple of pints of milk, but that's just to be expected, isn't it? <laughs> Hope the filming isn't too wobbly, because I've got my second hand to use on the phone to keep things steady. Still working on that. Lloyd's is officially closing now this year. I mean, everyone said it was going to, but it's been like officially stated it's closing. So there we go, they're closing this branch soon, there we are. Lovely. I used to be with Barclays, which was here. This was the entrance where you went in. And of course, when they decided they were going to shut, I um, thought I'd just hedge my bets and put a little bit of money into Lloyd's. So there was a branch there if I needed to get in or do something like paying a foreign check or something. But uh, to be honest with you, never worried too much about it. Everything you do on the app, I need to do now. But of course, just because I can do stuff on the app, doesn't mean to say that um, elderly people can or even have an app. So it's a shame for them that it's closing. But there we go, they're all closing, aren't they? All closing everywhere. There we go, there's that big bag of um, shopping. I've lugged up. And with that, I'm gonna bring this walk to an end. Go up and see my son and grandchildren. So lovely. Very nice, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Same time, same place. Thanks ever so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing, much appreciated. Really is fantastic. Cheers.